I'm Omar Aftab and I run program management for Power Virtual Agents. Hello, I'm Marina Kolomietz and I'm a senior program manager at Power Virtual Agents team leading bot framework integration with Power Virtual Agents. And today we're going to talk about how Power Virtual Agents, Microsoft's graphical bot building experience for business users and developers, can be extended with Azure bot framework capabilities. We're going to show a demo about this functionality in action, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what's next. So uh, Power Virtual Agents empowers everyone, from subject matter experts to developers, to easily create and maintain powerful chatbots using an intuitive, low-code graphical interface. There's no coding or AI expertise needed, and bots are quick and easy to build and deploy. Uh, customers rely on Power Virtual Agents to enable their business users and subject matter experts to build these bots. But when the customer has a specialized or custom need, they can also extend these bots with the power of Microsoft Bot Framework. Um, historically, though, this process has been rather complex. Uh, you could only link to an externally hosted Bot Framework skill, and even that process required multiple steps. Uh, users could use the Bot Framework SDK. They would have to download the Bot Framework Composer tool from GitHub. You would have to code up the skill, create an Azure subscription, host that skill, import the skill manifest into PVA, and then the skill would be hosted and run uh, separately, and the customer would get uh, a separate bill for it. But now, uh, with the work that we're announcing today, extending a PVA bot with Bot Framework is seamless. You can easily discover and invoke the Bot Framework Composer tool from, with, from within Week PVA. Developers can code up the Bot Framework functionality using the tool, using the full power of the SDK, using adaptive dialogues and language generation, and they can publish it back to PVA with a single click. These assets then get hosted and run directly inside of the PVA SaaS, and the user can access them directly from inside of PVA. And of course, now there's just the single PVA bill and no additional complexity. So to see some of this functionality in action and to tell us more, I'm going to ask Marina Kolomietz to come up and talk a little bit more about this. Thank you very much, Omar. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Marina Kolomietz, and it's my pleasure today to show the bot framework integration track with PVA that we have been working on for a while now. Today, we're going to talk about the features that we're going to get in, uh, together with bot framework composer into PVA, and we will see a demo of those features in actions. So let's talk about the features. Uh, as Omar has mentioned, uh, Bot Framework uh, Composer tool is now available directly to use from PVA. And this is an open source tool which has been generally available for a while. It is also available on GitHub to download separately, and there is no charge to use this tool. It's free of charge, whether you use PVA UX or this tool or combination of both, there is no extra costs. So what do you actually get? in Bot Framework Composer? And why would you actually want to use it to extend PVA? Well, for starters, you're going to get uh, access to Adaptive Dialogues functionality. And uh, what is this Adaptive Dialogues uh, technology in Microsoft? This is your way of coding up very complex event-driven dialogues which can handle uh, cancellations, interruptions, context switching, and you can do it using a guided visual experience, which is available in Bot Framework Composer. It's also worth noting that adaptive dialogues actually have declarative notation. So if you really want, you can actually write them by hand in Composer as well. But the UI is there for you to help you with your rapid development. So all of this in adaptive dialogues, what does it actually mean for you? Uh, for your user, it basically means that your user can start uh, your dialogue at any place. They can traverse your dialogue in any direction. They can come back and redo the step. And they can completely switch context in the middle of the dialogue tree on your bot. And your bot will be able to handle this very uh, gracefully. In addition to adaptive dialogues capability, you will get language generation capability from Microsoft. With language generation in Composer tool, you can create very robust response variations in your bot to enrich your bot, to make it sound less robotic. You can create uh, 
conditional response variations, conditional variants of responses that will be picked at random at the runtime for your bot. Your bot will never again sound robotic. You can also use pre-built functions which are av available in LG and also function injections. Basically, you can inject them uh, in the middle of your response and the calculation will be performed on the fly. In addition to pre-built functions, you will uh, get access to a lot of uh, functionality like uh, ability to manipulate JSON, ability to do complex comparisons. Uh, language generation is very, very powerful. It is very simple to use. The uh, notation for uh, language generation is a lot JSON-like, so please, uh, you'll actually see it on the screen right now. Please go ahead and check it out. I will give you a link later in this presentation. So the next would be adaptive cards. You will get the full power of adaptive cards together in your bot framework integration. Uh, you can get them into PBA with a single click. Adaptive cards allow you to create rich, dynamic, and interactive UI. Uh, which you can display images, you can display videos, you can display uh, image carousel, you can create a form with a submit button, you can, of course, create multiple options out of a generated list of items which people can just click on and get this data in. This is a very powerful technology from Microsoft which becomes available at your fingertip in Composer. Of course, you can connect to third-party services uh, and APIs by using bot skills and also HTTP invocations directly in Composer. And as for NLU options that you will get in the Composer, which is invoked through PVA, there are two options. One of the options is to keep using PVA NLU. It is available to you, just like you had in Power Virtual Agents. The same NLU is available to you in Composer. Or you can use Regex. Both options will be supported at trying time by Power Virtual Agents engine. And you will have shared access to all the global variables, entities, and context as well. So you can basically um, update and modify information and variables between PVA scope and bot framework uh, asset without needing to have input and output parameters at all. So without further ado, let's actually see how it all works together. For this demo, I, as a business user, is tasked with creating a shopping bot using Power Virtual Agents. And I will enlist Tony, the developer, to help me up to use bot framework to build up a complex functionality for the shopping cart that I need. Let's see how it actually works in action. So here in Power Virtual Agents UX, I already have a bot going on. I have created a shopping bot, and I have created a few topics in this bot which represent my business logic. It was easy for me as a business user to do. So let's test it out. What is it I have created? So for my shopping cart, I, of course, want to be able to add an item to my shopping cart. Let's add one item. I want to add a sandwich. And of course, all of this I can just test out in my PVA right away. Okay, let's see if I actually have a sandwich in my shopping cart. Let's verify that. I have a sandwich. Great. What about adding a can of soup to my shopping cart? Okay, let's see what I have in my shopping cart now. Okay, it only showed up the last item, but I actually have more complex requirements for my shopping cart. And I am going to share this bot with Tony, the developer, to ask him to help him to come in directly into Power Virtual Agents and code up complex functionality for me using Bot Framework Composer. 
I have some business requirements that I have passed on to Tony. And for my shopping cart, I want uh, a lot of multiple items to be held in my shopping cart. And when my user looks into uh, their shopping cart, I want them to see the whole list with visual representations of what they have right now. Of course, I want them to be able to delete something from my shopping cart. And I also would like to ask Tony to add some special telemetry to my dialogue so we can use it for analytics later on. So let's see how he can help me here. Okay, that's great. Uh, Tony is in my bot and he is going to So for this demo, Tony, the developer, creates the shopping cart logic in Bot Framework Composer, and he can seamlessly publish it to Power Virtual Agents Bot for me to use and test out. Let's see how he can actually do it. So I give uh, access to my bot to Tony, and he can now go in and uh, use Power Virtual Agents UI to access both framework composer to create the I have the adaptive card power virtual agent bot loaded in bot framework composer and I'm going to show you how you can add functionality and expressiveness to a bot created in power virtual agents I can see the triggers as we saw earlier in the demo add delete clear and show and I can toggle into code mode to modify the bot's logic directly in composer using a text editor if I would like what you see here is the logic executed when we've understood the user's intent is to add an item to their shopping cart. I'll modify this by adding a custom event called on shopping cart changed and pass some information associated with the current term that my event handler can capture and do interesting stuff with. Mm -hmm. I'll add type and value properties in an object to be sent with the event to represent the current operation and its associated metadata, which in this case is the item being added to the cart. I'm also configuring this event to bubble, which means the parent dialog has the opportunity to handle the event. I'm going to copy this event action and paste it into the clear shopping cart dialog and modify its parameters to be the clear type and its value will be the count of items in the cart that were cleared. I'll do the same thing for the delete and show shopping cart dialogs and skip ahead a little bit. So I've configured this custom event to be fired when the user is making changes to their shopping cart. And now I'll create an event handler called on shopping cart changed to capture these events for processing, as well as generate and modify some computed data in the bot's memory. The first thing I'll do is set a property to capture the information sent in with these events. Each event sends a single object parameter with two fields we defined earlier, type and value. I'll initialize another property that represents the last cart action that the user took in their shopping cart. And lastly, I'll also maintain a data structure that represents the history of all operations on the user's shopping cart and their associated metadata. Finally, I'm going to drag and select this functionality and group them into their own dialog called handle shopping cart changed. And what you see here is that the on shopping cart changed event simply invokes the handle shopping cart changed dialog, which is again editable directly in code mode as well. The logic can now be reused outside of this event handler for future scenarios and promotes a good bot building practice of decomposing your logic into cohesive reusable units. The last thing I need to do is publish these changes back to Power Virtual Agents, which I can do in Composer by navigating to the publishing page and pushing the changes to the tenant and bot configured from PVA when I started this session.
Okay, we just seen how Tony has created some functionality for me, and he managed to publish to a PVA bot literally with a single click. And now it's available for me to test. I'm eager to see the changes now. Okay, I can already see that there are a few new topics that came from Tony. And let's test out directly in PVA how bot framework functionality has enhanced my shopping cart. I want to add a new item to my shopping cart. Eggs. Okay, so what do I have in my shopping cart right now? I have eggs and I can see that I have eggs. That's an adaptive card. What about bread? Great. So let's see my shopping cart now. Both eggs and bread are there and I can visually see them. What happens if I remove an item? Let's remove eggs. So how does my shopping cart look now? I only got bread left there and I can visually see it. This functionality all came from Bot Framework Composer and I can import it into my PVA bot with a single click and it's completely testable in PVA. And as Omar mentioned previously, all of this is saved into PVA and is uh, there and running by a PVA engine together with the rest of uh, PVA content. There is no need for another Azure instance. There is no need to pay additional Azure bill. All of this now in a single PVA instance and accounted for by a single PVA bill. But this is not the end of it. This integration is actually bi-directional. If at any point of time I as a business user want to change, say, the images for the products uh, that are used in Bot Framework Composer assets, or I want to change the lingo of the bot, maybe I want it to sound a little bit different and change the phrasing in there, all I need to do is just to click on this Bot Framework dialog and I will be taken directly into the Bot Framework Composer where I can do my changes and I can also upload them back into a PBA bot, just like Tony did. This is a true collaboration between a business user and developer being pulled together into the same cohesive UX. So now that you've seen all those wonderful things that are coming up, let's talk about the timing. Uh, be expecting this functionality to be landing in public preview later in the fall. It will be announced in our PVA blog. So please check out our blog. All the new feature announcements and webinar announcements are coming up in the PVA blog. Uh, also, please check out our PVA community site. We have a very active site. If you are working on your dialogues in PVA and have a question, please feel free to post it there or look for a solution there. It's pretty rich by now. And uh, if you run into an issue, please submit it there and somebody will come uh, get back to you shortly. We are very active uh, on this site and there are a lot of people to help you out there with all of your questions. Also, I would like to point out that we have this wonderful Bot Skills uh, webinar posted on this link. Uh, it talks about how you can use and leverage your existing bot framework investments and make them work with Power Virtual Agents. So it's very useful for people who already have bots running up and they would like to use these bots to extend Power Virtual Agents. As promised, here is a link to Bot Framework Composer. Please go in and check it up. Uh, Composer is, as I mentioned, open source tool, it's free of charge to use, and you can get it off GitHub and start developing with adaptive dialogues right away. Uh, you can learn a bit more about adaptive dialogues as well and all the wonderful functionality that um, they bring to the table. Language generation documentation is also available and it's a very rich capability which is very easy to use and code up for you, and yet it's so powerful as well. 
Thank you very much for joining me uh, and Omar at this session. And I hope that you will uh, join us for previewing the fall as well. Thank you.